Which do you guys prefer? That one. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's hurting. It's hurting. But it's nice. <laughs> I feel like um, Theme Park Bazaar, like phase one of the renovation starts now. But it'll be finished today. It's because the cam belt, when it was previously changed, they didn't change the water pump and the water pump has started seeping and leaking coolant out. Come on! Ready? Come on! We're going out! We're going out with the Disney wives. You need to get out of bed. I'm out of bed. I'm pretty much in Come on! There you go. Good morning, sweet pea! No, it's not. It's the middle of bleeding night. Good morning! Take it, you're shouting for these. Oh, well then. But as we're going out with the Disney wives, let's, ooh, let's have a big one. No, let's have two, a small one oh, each. Oh, go on then, small one each. And then it gets rid of them. Um, and a nice drink of tea, and then we'll get ready, and we'll go meet the Disney wives. They're not ready yet. They're not messaged to say, come, come on, on, but we've got to get ready. I'm watching this thing on Freebie called Robin's Wish. I used to absolutely love Robin Williams, bless him. Um, and it tells you the real story about what happened to him in the end. Um, that's it there. Like what happened to his brain with the, the disease he had and you know why he took his own life and stuff. Um, so I'm just watching that, it's really interesting. Um, I, it used to be my favourite actor, didn't he? And Jodie Foster used to be my favourite actress, though I've not seen a film from her for a while. Nice toast to go on a tea cake. We got the jam on it. Jam, but I can't be bothered. I keep forgetting to check every time I come out of lodge if me um, daffodils have got any buds on. Have you noticed? They've got buds on. We've bought them with buds on, but they're not going to bud. They're not going to flower until the sun comes out. Mm, and it hasn't been out for the last few days, for freak's sake. Sure. So we are heading to the wives, and then we are heading to York Designer Outlet. Is it MacArthur Glen? Yep. MacArthur Glen York Designer Outlet. Because um, we're like a little shop every now and again. We've been saying for weeks we're going to go to the York Designer Outlet. Um, I'm looking for a gilet. I think what? that's what they call them. Body warmer. Oh. Um, just for when. I think gilet is the furry ones for women. No, it's not actually. I, I, I thought that as well, but um, when you look, they are called that even on like Next Men's website. Um, so um, I want it for just, you know, when it's not too cold, but you still want a coat on, but probably not a coat. So I just want a body warmer. I'll always call them body warmers as well, just because I'm from the 1980s. Um, <clears throat> what are you looking for, Nick? Nothing. Absolutely nothing. You're going to come home with nothing then? Might come home with an air freshener from Rituals, you never know. But oh, I have nothing planned, there's nothing I want. Oh, I want to get some new um, white socks. I want what? To get, I want to get, I want to phase me Everlast out. <laughs> I've got Pumas, Everlast and um, uh, what, Adidas. What band? Adidas. Why don't you get, because we went to the designer outlet, get some really nice ones like Puma, Tommy Hilfiger or something. No, because that's just, I'm not a names person. Spending all that money on names when it's really hidden under your, under your sock, under your shoes, do you know what yes, I mean? Yes, I, I agree with What's things the point? like socks. Uh, yes, I, Plus, I, I don't agree with the, the fact that a lot of people buy named items just so they can say, oh, look, I've got a named item on, do you know what I mean? No. If it's quality, yes, if it's yes, quality, that's the But thing. just to say, I've got named items on, do you know what I mean? That's, that, I don't do that. Well, no, we, I don't either, but I, I do it if I know it's going to be quality. Do you know what if I mean? Getting, if you're getting value for money, mm. but just buying it for the really sake of... really well made, and you know that some brands are really well made. Like Tommy Hilfiger, I love Tommy Hilfiger. Um, like some people will buy like Gucci bags and they like walk around with it almost like a sign. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Mm. And it's like, that's not the reason to buy a Gucci bag. You buy a Gucci bag because you either want it and it's quality, but not to rub it in other people's faces. Do you know what I mean? Let us know what you think in the comments below. I'm sure there'll be lots of people disagree. Look at this. How luxurious we've been driven, chauffeur driven, to the York outlets in style by the wives. How come you're not driving, Vicky? It's not a good idea. It's your, it's your car, why? How come you're not driving? I don't like driving with people in the car. Do you I'm mean not you're not allowed? <laughs> She's not allowed. Can't you remember what happened in um, Autopia when she was behind us? Yeah, I can actually. This Still got a stiff neck. <laughs> <laughs> Here we are, ready to start our day of shopping. by Surfshark. Hi guys, we want to talk to you about Surfshark, the sponsor of our video today. Um, so Surfshark is a VPN client, and for those that don't know what a VPN is, if you imagine um, when you send a piece of information over the internet, it jumps from computer to computer to computer, and anybody sat on those computers 
that have uh, any kind of like a hacker or anything like that can sniff the, the data that you're passing over there. So if you're logging into a, web, a banking website or something like that, um, they can potentially get your password. Using Surfshark, you can create a virtual tunnel, uh, which is called a VPN, which opens a little, like a little wormhole, like a sci-fi wormhole, isn't it? From one point to another point, and then anything through that tunnel, nobody can see on the hops across the internet what's passing through that tunnel. So your data is completely uh, private. So it's great if you go out and about and use um, other people's Wi-Fi's, like if you're in Starbucks, Costa, any coffee shops, places like that, cafes, restaurants. If you're out and about and you use other people's uh, Wi-Fi, it protects you. Now it does have a lot of other advantages which we're going to tell you about now. So with a VPN you get to choose the endpoint. Uh, in other words, you get to choose the virtual country and the presence that you want to be in. So for example, if you connect Surfshark to USA, um, everything that you browse to on your internet, even though you might be sat here in the lodge, but connected to the USA, as far as the world's concerned, you are actually physically in the USA, but you're not, you're virtually there. With that, you get tons of benefits. So it allows you to access um, Netflix USA, Disney uh, Plus, Disney Plus any, anything that's geo-locked to a specific country. It also allows you access to pricing on websites such as flights and hotels that you wouldn't necessarily have access to if you sat in the UK. Um, there is something out there called price discrimination where companies will purposely um, inflate the price depending on where you're coming from, depending on sort of exchange rates and things like that. Now to bypass that, you just use, this, use the Surfshark, connect to the country that you want to book your hotel in, for example, um, and then browse directly to the, to the hotel's website or, or maybe a booking website, something like that, in the local country where it hosts, it's hosted and you'll get local prices rather than sort of foreign prices. We had um, someone on our Facebook group booked a package holiday through one of the big sites, I think it was booking.com or Expedia, one of the two, and she actually saved over 600 pounds booking a package holiday by using a VPN client. So you can install Surfshark on many devices such as a Fire Stick, which we use, and then we can get, uh, browse to USA Netflix, as Nick said. You can put it on your phone, on your laptop, many devices. So we can sit here in the lodge and think, oh, we want to watch this film, it's only on Netflix Australia. Not a problem. Just connect the VPN client to Australia, relaunch Netflix, and boom, you've got the entire Australian Netflix catalogue available uh, for you to watch. Good day, mate. You get an unlimited number of devices per account, and these days we have all got lots of devices, so that's great. So we've got two Fire Sticks, two phones, two tablets, two laptops. We're definitely making use of the unlimited part yes. of it. If you like keeping all your apps and programs unified, there's other products in the Surfshark suite, uh, such as antivirus. You always struggle saying that, don't you? Surfshark suite. <laughs> It comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so it's risk-free. So we have an exclusive deal just for our viewers. By using the code that's on the screen now, Lodge Guys, you'll get an extra three months free. Now back to the video. Thanks for having a back massage. Oh, keep, keep going. Oh, God. Bloody hell, Nick liked it that much. He's actually <laughs> buying one, they're only 20 quid. You'll have to say that when we get home, because you'll be sat there doing it. <laughs> yeah, How does that feel? That's cool, that. Oh, after a heavy gym session. <laughs> Just looking at lint Easter eggs. And Ten pound. That's not that bad. That's my favourite chocolate ever. White chocolate lint. I wonder what their Easter egg chocolates like though. Well, it's, it'll be lint. I wonder yeah. if it's white. It will be. White chocolate egg and then a white chocolate. Yeah. Just coming to Calvin Klein. Lee's trying on a um, Bijelay. Is it a Bijelay or a Gilet? It's a body warmer to everybody else. Lee's decided to buy it, Love and then it. we'll go in. I love it. Here we go in after this. Look at this. I like this on the side. It's just nice and discreet. It's Calvin Klein. Yeah. But it's discreet. Right, go and pay for it. Smart and I need a rest. Like I need that. to sit down now. Right, I've been boring gone for a subway. Nick's gone for something interesting. What's this? I got some cookies for us all. Slim chicken. I don't think we're going to need what you've got. Hey now, what have you bought? They've gone the same as well. What? I thought you were getting a salad. No. <laughs> he said you were getting a chicken salad. salad. No, I said that for you. I've got chicken tenders. Yeah. Very small chicken tenders. Jesus Christ. Um, fries. Yeah. I love a fry. Oh, with garlic bread. Freaking out. And I got buffalo sauce, ranch sauce, and I upgraded it for two pound fifty for a vanilla milkshake. We could have shared that. I know. These oh, are oh, actually good. amazing. Even though they're tiny, they're they're. Reminds you of in America, especially the buffalo wing sauce. The ranch dressing is not so much cheesy, but it's still very nice. The girls are here. Look, chicken Look burger, chicken tender burger or something. I am excited for it. Yeah, oh, yeah. Looked like Nick's. Yeah. yeah. What's next? 
Done. You've done? Yep. <laughs> Vicky and Emma's in boss. And so are you. <laughs> oh, and we've got all the way down there left to go. Eh? We've got oh, all yeah, the we way down there left to go. Really halfway then? Yeah. This is the biggest range of Bath and Body Works outlet I've ever seen. There's absolutely shed loads. What are you guys getting? There's so much. I know, there's she loads, isn't there? All. There's like four massive stands of it and it's all like a fiver. Well, they're not fiver. That's mahogany teak wood. I can tell. How much are they, yeah? It doesn't say she wants it, so it's going to be expensive. You like that? We don't do candles anymore, do we? But it smells of just mulled wine and Christmas and cinnamon. Mm. Got buyer's remorse. Oh, yeah, well, I'm just trying another one. <laughs> so you're having well, both? You. Are you having both then? Oh, this has got an inside pocket as well. Are you having both? The other one didn't. Answer the question. Oh, I'm having one. Which do you guys prefer? That one. Let's go with the MS one then, shall we? <laughs> <laughs> and then the CK one. Yep, yeah, 10 seconds in the microwave. That's all Crispy it creme time. It was, it was somebody in the Krispy Kreme factory in Burstall when we when it first opened that told us to get the original glazed donuts, put it in the microwave for just 10 seconds, just to, just enough to make the glaze melt, and it's just a whole new donut then. Go on, what's happened? Wear it. What's happened? I got the Mars Spence one and the CK one's going back. Prefer this one. Nothing to do with me. Even the Disney wife said that the M&S one's better. Right, well I got what I came for. I've got it on and off. No, you didn't. Yeah, I did. You took what you, you took back what you came for. I'm, yeah, but I got a different version of it. I'm afraid the Yorkshire came out. <laughs> the CK one was 98 quid. It was nice, but it was tires remote. It was a tad shiny. You're just making excuses. So I, I thought to myself, I'll just keep looking at it and find a better one that I like. I will do. Yeah, uh, but if you were happy with it, you wouldn't have gone looking I know, for a I, new one. I wasn't 100 percent happy. I was 99 happy with it. And then I saw this one. Everybody like, actually, we prefer that one. And it was 30 Yeah, but they didn't like saying it. They said they didn't like saying it. No, because they didn't want me to tell like, the one back. They were like, ooh, I do prefer the, uh, the cheap one. <laughs> um, I was going to say, yes. I didn't even have to say a thing this time either. We were actually, it was funny because I was actually explaining to Emma, just Leah has an OCD about buying things and then getting buyer's remorse. Expensive and Taking things. them back, <laughs> anything really. And we were outside and I was saying it and then Vicky came out and said, come in, Nick, uh, Lee wants you. And I just started laughing. I said, here we go. And then as soon as I said it, he bought that and I knew it was going back. Yeah, but Vicky were like, well, actually, I do like that one. Just need a second opinion. Right, we're back in our car. Thank goodness. Because the wives like their car like a sauna. Sauna? <laughs> I could have cooked buns in there. The, both their uh, temperature gauges things were on high. And the seat. And the seats were on high as well. So the windows were steaming up. <laughs> even Nick was sweltering, so it must have been hot. I like the heat. I was like, I'm just going to open them for a little bit. <laughs> Um, so, hi wives, we've had a very nice day with those guys. We'll drive next time though. Um, and um, successful shop, I got my gilet. So it was... Your second one. £98 versus £30 from Marks and Spencers. And Buyer's remorse. Everybody thought this one was nicer. And I must admit, even though I liked the other one, I'd, as I was walking around, I was thinking, do I really need to spend £90, £98 <laughs> me and Vicky, on a me gilet? And, me and Emma were having that exact conversation and I said to her, He'll not be able to rest with the amount of money you spent on that. <laughs> and, then you, a, and then you shouted me I'm in. I'm not a big spender on clothes. It's exactly what I said but when at the beginning of this vlog, that you, you basically, people buy names sometimes for the wrong reasons. It was if a nice they, top. If they're comfortable, yes, but... But then when I tried them, I tried them both on in Max Spencer's, I got my CK one out of the bag. You saw the light. And I, it was a little bit shiny, like... Like a space suit. Yeah, and I was like, mm, might be not my cup of tea. And I put this on and we were like, yeah, that's actually sushi bear. But so, they didn't like saying it in the shop. They were like, <laughs> they're both nice. And I'm like, just tell him for Christ's sake, tell him what you think. So anyway, I got this. Nick got that massager randomly because we were all trying that massager in that mankind it's when she put it on my back. Oh my and God. It did feel absolutely amazing on your back. And that's Nick what like, you're doing tonight. And we were expecting to be like 70, 60 quid, something like that. And we're like, it's 20 quid. Well, we picked it up at first and it said 35, but it was the wrong thing. Yes. And we were like, oh. And then we found where it was and it said 20 and I'm like, I'm having one of them. So I'll see you that later tonight. It'll probably break in a week, but well, we'll see. And then the girls got, um, I think one of them got a Calvin Klein jumper and one got a Lacoste jumper. And I got 40 quid worth of um, Adidas socks. Yes, Nick is um, purging his sock drawer and getting rid of all the Everlast ones that we've had for years and years and years um, and replacing them all with Adidas. So uh, there we go. So I've actually started. I've already got some Puma and Adidas anyway. We are heading back to the lodge now. Nick's getting straight into the van, and then I'm driving. Both of us are driving to the garage, dropping the uh, van off, 
and then coming back in the car. So um, it begins tonight, hopefully. Oh, I don't start. The last bit of work under the bonnet before we can drive our camper van Taylor to somewhere for the night. Back at the lodge. We forgot to put the toilet back in the van. Well, it's not like the garage needs to shite in it. Well, I know, but it's going to be there for days now. Oh, no. Well, this is an extra seat if I want to sit down in the kitchen. Um, right, we're going to have some food. So these are... This is what I got from the farm shop yesterday. I've just touched it on my fingers when he washed yeah. my hands now. So they're chicken tikka, um, chicken steaks. So I'm going to stick them in the air fryer and then get that cooked up on the bench. Whilst Nick's doing that, I'll show you what he purchased today. It was a very random purchase, I have to say. Um, what a beige lay? A what? Your beige lay thing you bought. A beige lay? You mean beige G lay, what I got? We're talking about yours. Whatever. Yours, not mine. Um, so he got some Adidas socks to replace all his Everlast, but that's not the um, random thing that I'm on about. It's this. The way in, we all went to that first shop and everybody were like going nuts about this. They were loving it as well. Full body deep tissue muscle relief massager. And Nick were like in heaven when it were on his back. Um, so he's like, right, I'm going to get one. Because we thought it was 35 quid and then we looked and it was 25 quid. And, and um, I must admit, I thought that was pretty decent for that money. Let's have a quick look at it. So apparently you can do your feet, your legs, all sorts of stuff. And it's um, quite big for 20 quid. Look at the friggin' size of it. So you get all these different things. I'll have to have a read. All these different ends. And what have you. Shoulders, upper back, quads, lower back, foot soles, calf and hamstrings. So you can do it yourself. Like that. So you can do it yourself, Nick. You don't need me to do it. You can do it yourself. I don't want to do that when I've got it. It's made for, um, you know, doing it on your own. Let me have a try. And just get this out. Right. I'll have a go. <laughs> you can do it on me. No, 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 put it in. I want to go no, myself. You put it on me. You've got a blog. You know, it's massive. <laughs> You'll have to read what all the different things are for. Oh. Oh, Jesus. Oh my God. Oh my God. It's hurting. It's hurting. It's hurting. But it's nice. <laughs> oh, yeah. Ow! That's my freaking shoulder blade. It's rocking. Put it on one. one. That's even worse. Oh, just do it on soft tissues, not bone. What about down here? Ah, oh. It's like being on one of those machines that go like that, do you know what I mean? Oh, oh higher, 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 higher. Oh, yes. Right, hold that, I want to see what it's like to do it <sighs> yourself. Because it says you can just do your own. Put your hood up then. Ooh, it is quite alright actually when you do it on your own as well. Oh, it took my back ache off that. Ooh. Come here, let me try it. Let me Very do it. Nice. Let me do it for you. Turn around. Oh, oh it's when it goes up your shoulders. It's, so nice. <laughs> when it, it, it's when it hits the bones, it, oh. it jumps up and down on the bones. That is nice. Oh. It's massive though, it's like a bloody. We're trying your butt cheeks. <laughs> your bony ass. Oh, you can, you can hear it bouncing on the bones there. Oh, it is nice though. Here, yeah, do, it, do it for me. Just keep going. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Hi, I want to turn. <laughs> it's, it's well nice. <laughs> like, no, it just gets you like right in that. Turn around. Like, flat complex of muscles. Ah. Oh. <laughs> so we got this from Menkind, didn't Men we? One kind. of those gadget shops that you see in outlets. I can't believe it, we're only 20 quid. I know. Oh, that's weird. That's weird. That feels like my arm's like twitching. Do the other arm. Ow! Ooh. 
Oh! Successful purchase. Ah. It'll never be used again. <laughs> yeah, <but> it <laughs> <that> well. <laughs> You're a good one, aren't you? Making tea while I'm doing thumbnails. Might be a burnt a little bit. Ooh. Oh, that's the chicken. The tea kit. I, couldn't, I couldn't tell what it was. The tea kit came <laughs> off. And we've got some... Uh, was that pit pink? No, I think it's the tea kit. Corn on the cob with the uh, famous Parmesan coating on, yeah? Yep. And some green beans for a bit of health. And that's just yours. Mm. Later. Mm. It's a few hours later. I've been catching up on some editing. Nick's been in the bath. And now we are watching for the sixth time, maybe? Millionth time. Down to Nabby. Nick's gone back to season one, so we're just watching through a few of that. I'm also replying to comments on uh, the video that went out, not tonight, actually, the other day. So thank you for all your comments on all our videos. It's much appreciated. We do try and get around as many as we can, but, um, you know, there are a lot of comments to get through, but I will uh, try our hardest. Um, so... Cup of tea. Yeah, decaf, please. Make sure it's decaf, because it's... Oh, do it's 10 o'clock, it's very late oh. this first to be having supper. Oh. Um, and um, there we go. You want peanut butter, yeah? I feel like we're a bit of a, a loss now that uh, tail, <laughs> Taylor's in the garage. No, 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 because we didn't do anything because we sat it dry for a month. <laughs> yeah, but we've it's been... It's unbelievable that a month's gone, hasn't it? We've, what, since we got back to the lodge? No. We've been tinkering, obviously, each day, improving things, making things better, etc. Et um, but now it's just like a waiting game. We've just got to wait until we get the call and they say, fingers crossed that everything's fixed and it's Hopefully. Back. So when it's done, we've taken it to be weighed and then we'll know how much uh, more we can basically yeah. put in there. Yeah. I mean, we're, we've, we've only got maybe... We're fine. We, we're we've fine. got Starlink and the wrap. Yeah. And that's it. And then obviously we've... Well, we've, we've Googled the wrap, haven't we? And how much does that take? It'll be about nine kilos for a van, something for like that. For a wrap. Because you don't think about that when you when you you know, booking these things in, and then you think, oh yeah, wrap. We have Obviously factored in though. Wait. We have factored in full fuel, full water, which we ain't gonna do, no chance, and full gas. Yeah. So that will be, I don't know. Oh, shit, shit. I hope that's yours and not mine. Oh, for freak's sakes. It was the only one I had left and all the others are frozen. We did it again. Well, we did. Remember the other week when um, we said that Nick had pressed a button on the camera and messed up a whole three days worth of vlogs? He's done it again. I don't know how. We've had this sodding camera. So this is the problem, Mike. Right? They've got the on button and the mode button next to each other. It doesn't beep when you push either. Well, so, you don't know, so you don't know whether... What? Moment. This camera's not straight. It's not your OCD. So you don't know whether what your button you've pushed and it doesn't tell you on the screen, apart from a little tiny, tiny bit of text that's the same colour as the normal one. Anyway. So, we only lost five minutes. We were having a day off yesterday. We were catching up with some work. And we made things. a lovely dinner. Uh, yeah, we did. We did actually film that. So, but yesterday afternoon... I went for Nick a walk. went out for a bit. Yeah, you went for a walk. And I decided to crack on with Nick's next project. Well, no, I said Nick's next project. It's our next project. Well, if you remember the vlog, we redesigned the bedroom on Adobe Illustrator and, and laid it all out with different configurations. So we, we knew when we got the tools out of the bedroom, which we've now put under the bed in the back bedroom, by the way, um, and chucked away some old duvets that we're never going to use from when we had single beds in that room, which we were keeping for some reason. Anyway, back to the story. So the tools are so away, the bedroom out, was clear. I thought I'd have a quick go at reorganising the bedroom. So and we I shifted did. the beds. <laughs> Um, first of all to the door side, which didn't look right, was too cramped. So then we moved the wardrobe around and everything just fell into place. Mm. So today's plan... So, no, let me go back to it. So the, the plan is that I, for seven years, I wanted a desk that isn't the desk, you know, our dining table. table. Um, and I don't know why we've just never done it, but yesterday I thought, just let's get a crack on with it. It's one of those things we've been talking about for seven years. I was concerned I'll that let the, me just do it. the bed heads are fixed to the wall and I was concerned that they weren't painted behind it, but they are. However, they're marked. So it's going to involve redecorating the lower half of the room and then we're going to take a bit of wood from the bedroom to B&Q to get it colour matched and then come back and paint the walls that are marked. That's the plan. Yes. So the plan is for the last seven years to have a desk in there. So all my computer, my laptop, all the editing stuff can be in that room, away from the dining room table. Mmm. Well, why don't you tidy up? The Hoover's supposed to have done it. So, um, all, when people come around, the, 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 you don't have to move everything. It, the dining table is always a mess. 
and it's just like having your whole office out on the table well that's the plan to, to find a desk that's going to fit in that space now here lies the next problem we've been having a quick look but we're only a quick, quick look, look we were looking night. for an hour and well, a half on etsy well that's a quick look that's not an extensive search is etsy it? and amazon we were trying we've got a certain dimension and a certain size yeah. to fit it in so it's got to be nice thick oak so it's got to look it rude, needs to match apart it needs to match the furniture in, in there like reclaimed wood but and we've seen a desk but it's too freaking big while that search is going off we've got to do some things fixing up in the bedroom which you can see we have to take the hooks of the, the bed heads hook onto on the other wall and move them onto the main wall as well as doing that we have to paint the bed the paint the wall because it's all marked behind it um we have to run some extension cables in because there's no sockets the on the, all in the wrong places now yeah so we have to put some extension cables in so that the lamp which we don't have because the one that's in there was from the back bedroom we just put it there to try because we did have a lamp in there it's broken yeah, and it wasn't a bit naffed. And I cut the plug off because I needed yeah. it for something in the van. Yeah. So but it was rattly and wobbly, so we need to get a new lamp. We're probably going to get one of these from next, yeah. the little ones that match, like we've got at the apartment. And then we are um, going to run the cables in. We're going to try and do that today, and then get the paint, and hopefully get it all done and dusted in one day. So guess where we're going today? First thing. Nick's favourite. Wix! No. B and Q to get the paint mix. So the paint in here is called lamp room grey it's a fire and ball, and ball so as it's you, 43 pound it, a tin expensive. we ain't buying that no. we, have, gonna, we have bought it in the past there's half a tin in there but it's not enough to do that no. room so we're going to take a sample up to b q get them to do valspar which we think is really good paint it's really good coverage mm. when we did the van we only needed because it was like from nothing to paint it it only had two coats well that's already got an undercoat it's going to match so it, it should only be one coat in the bedroom uh we just need to get like a roller and a brush and that's today's job but other than that, the other bits that you missed was we made the most delicious, Ooh, it was nice. delicious food. Steak salad. Dinner. It was a. Ooh. We did a, a bed of spinach with um, uh, red, onions, red, red onions, red onions, cherry tomatoes, cherry tomatoes multicolored tomatoes, cherry tomatoes on the vine. Sweet Shut potato. Up. Um, we did um, a bed of, um, and then we put balsamic glaze on it. Then we had a big dollop of um, red pepper hummus. Then I did some sweet potato chunky fries which were absolutely delicious. Just did them in, a, in the air fryer in some oil and then lattice them on. Um, then what did we have on top? Oh, we had avocados Hummus. in it. Avocado. Oh yeah, avocado, yeah. Uh, then some more balsamic and then we put um, some steak on top, which I basted in Marmite and butter and cooked them. Sliced it up into little chunks and sprinkled it on top and then we had it with um, jalapeno um, bar taco sauce. Mm. You didn't, did no, you? No, I, I had some chili jam on. And oh my god, it was it amazing. Was nice. It was delicious. We was it was just creamy. It was just tasty and very very healthy. So let's crack on. I feel like um, theme park buzzer. Like phase one of the renovation starts now. But it'll be finished today. <laughs> We're going up to B and Q. Double figures are back. So Nick's shorts are back. Uh, it does feel quite warm today, I must say. It is. And it's 13 degrees now and it's going to get to 16 degrees. Once we get into the car, we've got an update on Taylor. 15 degrees, it was 17 when we set off. You just can't believe this Beautiful. weather. Beautiful. I saw it on news last night when I was testing the TV in that um, re newly re reshaped bedroom. One moment it's freezing, shit and raining and the next minute it's lovely and, and sunny. I'm absolutely well, baking it's, now. It's due, to be, it's due to be crap again tomorrow, so. so we're off to b &Q, a quick update on Taylor. So we took it into the garage yesterday um, for the, what is it doing? Water pump yeah. and timing belt kit. And Which you'd done within an hour. Yes, so it called us and we were like, oh. It, I, we were expecting to say, right, come, and, come up and get it, it's done. Um, but then I saw Nick's face drop, we were having a coffee with a friend and um, I saw Nick's face drop and he was like, oh, go on then. And I was like, oh no. So the, to cut a long story short, he's taken what he needed out to do the job that it went in for, and he's discovered something else. And that is? So when he's pulled, when he's taken the pulley off to um, pull it on the oil pump, which there's no reason to take the pulley off when you're doing the, when you're doing the water pump, unless it's caked in something, which he said it was. Yeah. When he's took it off, there's damage to the oil pump casing. So, so he said, right, so there's two options. We can either get a brand new VW one or we can get uh, an aftermarket one. So I said, we'll go for the aftermarket then, as long as it outlives the, 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 the van. And he said, right, no problem. So that, that added another 250 quid on, which 
I would rather change it and have new yeah. well, than, have, than have something break when we're somewhere. But, yeah. we, but at this rate, though, we're going to end up replacing every part on the van. We're going to end up with a new van. Because he also said, well, it's like this. I know it's all stripped down. We might as well put a new radiator in, did he say? He said that the radiator had seen better days. And I yeah. looked at it and it had. It had got, like, crushed. You know how, like, a radiator's got, like, fins to distribute heat? Mm. Some of them were crushed, like it had been squeezed against something. So so I said, well, just do that, because it, it, it was were peanuts, that, to yeah, be honest. 70 quid, I think it was. So we're like, well, 90. Go, well, 90. Go on, then. While it's up, while all the engines are because Nick went down, he says, come down, I'll show you. And I didn't go, because I was having coffee with a friend. And so Nick, I went and Nick says it was, the, the engine was in bits, basically. So I like, oh, you should have got a photo, but it didn't. I got a photo of the, the, the damage yeah. on, the, on the pulley. Um, now, we said to that, it's either somebody's been in there before, or something's got in there and, and like debris got caught behind it and it's crumpled the, the outer casing. The metal looked fresh. The, um, the, you said the damage had either been caused by somebody that had previously done something in the engine when they'd done the cam belt or, but he said that he took the pulley off because he'd say, he, sh he saw that the oil pump crankshaft seal was leaking oil, which he'd cleaned off. And then when he cleaned it off, he found that the, the, the edge of the, 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 the casing, the housing on the oil pump had got like crumpled edges on it. We'll put a picture on the screen now. So he said it's either caused by somebody previously or debris got behind it and it's crumpled it and crushed the, the casing edge. Anyway, he said, I can put you a new one in and we said, oh, go on then, get it done. Then we thought, right, we'll get it back at end of week and this guy's going on holiday at the weekend. So he rang me again and he's like, um, I've got a problem. He always starts phone calls with a problem <laughs> and I'm like, oh God. <laughs> so anyway, he said he was struggling to get the, water, the oil pump out because it needs there's two bolts that are holding it in and they're hidden inside the, the um, gearbox and to do that I need to take the sump off which I said fine no problem he says but to do that I have to take the entire gearbox out to get to these bolts so I was like oh my god and he says I'm just ringing you to let you know that the labour is going to be sky high so we have no choice because it's in bits on his yeah. garage floor at the minute we so can't say well just forget it and give it back and because Not, we'd have to pay somebody else well, to do exactly. the same it's thing. got to be done anyway. But it does keep seeing more and more things. They keep saying, these have seen better days. This part's seen better days. But we're like, well, yeah, of course it has. It's a 20-year-old van. We're not replacing everything. We're, we're, not, not, we're only going to replace things that break because, or, or are about to break. Yeah. Because how how much do you keep going? Where do you stop? Where, where do you stop? We could replace everything under the engine, but that was not the point of it. The point was to get an older van that we've done up and just to get it drivable basically for the next five ten whatever years anyway he can't do it so until we, next he can't week. do it but we were like i'm going on holiday we i'll have to do it when i get back so like, oh god where are you off and how long for we're thinking we can say like two weeks or something but he's only off the weekend so today is wednesday he's back on monday he's, he's gonna, working he's this gonna... week but he's got jobs on yeah um so hopefully he'll be able to try and do bits and bats in between his other jobs um but um he's not back until next monday no, he's back. I think he's back Sunday, but he's back in work Monday. Yeah. So he can't continue working on it until Monday. Mm. But he was he was saying to me, "Oh, I've been looking forward to this weekend all year." I think he thought we're asking him to like work through his holiday, and he's like, "I only get one of these weekends a year." And we're going to say to him, "Well, with the money you're getting from this, you're about to buy another holiday." So there you go. It's um, starting to become um, expensive, tiresome, and tiresome to get it fixed. Um, but. Uh, Keep fingers crossed the thing for is, us that it will come back and phone with something else that is found. We're being over cautious and we're getting things replaced when not necessarily need yeah. replacing. We need to start waiting for fault. But and when you're talking person... with cam belts, you can't you can't dick around because if your cam belt goes, your engine's gone. Yeah. So it, with it, that, there's no there's no question. It's like it's like us putting the gas in. We know well, yeah, we don't mess about with gas. Get it done yeah, exactly. properly. We want to get the things done that need to be done. But obviously, he's a mechanic and he's looking at it, thinking, well, that could be. Fix that, that could do we do in replacing Well, it was there yesterday, was saying, we're like, got, no. your, your bearings on your alternator sound like they've seen better days, and I'm like, yeah, but it's not failed. We so could have just gone and bought a brand new van if we wanted it to be like a brand new van. We know it's not a brand new van, we just wanted to get it fixed so that it works. Just want to drive the damn thing. Yeah. So, there we go. That's a little update. Um, so, Taylor is still in the garage, um, and um, we're just waiting for a call now, in a few days, hopefully. So, at least... Fingers crossed he'll ring me before Monday, and it'll, yeah, like, it'll, it'll get time from jobs is finished quicker. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So, this is why I started cracking on with the bedroom yesterday, because, well, we've got a few days now. Um, now we've got a week. Well, yeah, now we've got a week, so we can uh, do a good job on the bedroom now, hopefully. Right, here we are. This is the bit of wood 
that we use and not that other side. This, yeah, but this is what the lodge is made of, like oh, yeah. chipwood compressed and made into look like panelling. So we're going to get them to uh, make... Colour match that. Colour match that, yeah. Right, so here's Farron Ball, which is what the lodge is painted in, 54 quid. Just seeing if we can find the right, the same one, so they can just colour match it from the tin. This is all the same. Yeah. Where's the colours? What do you mean? Where's the colours on the tin? They're all the same colour, also the same thing, modern emulsion. Yeah, Elephant's Breath, that one is. Ah, uh, okay. Can't see, I mean, it might be um, it's years old at our no, lodge now. Do it. Still do it. Let's see, he's just... Schoolhouse. Well, there's a thingy there. You can have a look in the um, the leaflet as well. Well, I'd rather him take the, the lamp room grey. Lamp room grey, that's it. I'd rather him take it from that. Yeah. In fact, I think their machines have these colours pre-programmed, actually. Yeah, yeah that'd be easy. The garage is on the phone again, and it's more bad news. Yeah. Just heard him say another £500. Right, we're back at the lodge. Um, so that, for, every time I get a phone call, things just get seem to get worse. We did oh, we, get the paint. We got though. the paint. Yeah. So he, um, where do I start? So basically, the van has gone in to have the water pump changed because the cam belt, when it was previously changed, they didn't change the water pump and the water pump has started seeping and leaking coolant out. And we noticed that was the telltale signs of that was a few months back when we were at the garage. One day when we started it, we got a message on the display saying that there was a coolant um, dropping level and we actually vlogged us going to Halpers and getting the coolant, topped it back up and never gave it another thought. And it was only when he took the casing off to change the um, the cam belt, uh, to change, oh no, he, he was investigating the screeching drive belt, which is um, not resolved yet, we'll come on to that. So it went into the garage and as he took the casing off to have a look, he noticed that there was red fluid dripping out. So the, the drive belt issue has been parked for now. And it went in, uh, we had to wait a month, it went in to get the water pump changed. And as a precaution, they changed the cam belt again when they do the water pump, they come in a kit. So when it went in and he took the old belt off, he noticed that the, um, the bottom pulley, which is the oil pump, had oil around it. So he took the pulley off to look whether the seal was weeping behind, which it was. But he also noticed that the outer edge of the um, pump had got the edge had been pitted off all the way around, like like ground off. So at first we were like, well, how the hell's that happened? Because it looked fresh metal. And he said, well, it's one of two things. Whoever had changed the um, stuff last time had done half a job and not done it properly, or something's got behind the, the pulley that's connected to the crankshaft and it's ground away and it's damaged the, um, the edge of the oil pump. So like dust or debris or road debris or something like that. So we went back up just now because he called me and he said, um, come and have a look at this. And I went and had a look. Anyway, when we were there, we looked in the inside of the pulley and it's got grind marks on the inside of the pulley as if something has got in and took the edge of the aluminium um, oil pump casing off, but not damaged the steel. But you can see a scrape mark on it as if something has got caught in. So who knows what's caused that. So that has to be replaced. But to get to the oil pump, there are apparently a couple of bolts which he couldn't get access to. And he had to take the sump off and the gearbox off, which he has done. So while it was off, and I knew this was coming, and I kind of, um, so I was speaking to our friend Colin, who um, used to have garages, and he said, whilst he's got it out, you might as well get a new clutch fitted. I was gonna ring him and ask him how much, but he rang me and said, do you want me to put a new clutch in? So new clutch is 215 pound and the flywheel is another 300 and odd. So that's just an added another 500 quid on. Um, and it's two days of labor. The labor is the biggest, the biggest cost. So I reckon by the time we're done with this, we'll have had new water pump, new cam belt, new drive belt, new radiator, which is battered. So we said put one in, um, new oil pump, new clutch, new flywheel. So by the time all this is done, <laughs> we're talking at least two grand, if not more, for labor and parts just for this trip. But then we've pretty much got everything brand new again. There's nothing else to replace. Everything's been changed. Um, so this better fix it now because after this, they can screw the van. We'll just sod it and just, I don't, well, I don't know what we'll do. Buy a, buy a new one and take everything we've put in out and put it in the new one if I have to, because I'm not doing, I'm not keep paying out this for a, a bleeding van. But 
Um, we knew we'd have these kind of problems with an old van, and you I don't know. At least he's spotted it now, and it's not been found when we're in the middle of the Swiss Alps, something like that. So it's not coming back for at least another couple of days. Fingers crossed it will be uh, a little bit sooner. And the good news is he's working on it now. He's working on it now because he's, he's taken up one of his bays in his garage, so he has no choice. And we went up there, and as you can see from the footage that we've just put over now, it's in a million pieces. Um, there's bits, the screws, the bumper, there's everything all over the place. And it's just, I'm glad I'm not a mechanic, that's all I can say. Right, phase one. We have a of our renovations. patch on the wall. So there was a mark there, like a grease mark, I don't know where from. If it wipes off, it means I don't have to paint this entire wall, even though there's a mark there as well. But um, we don't have to paint that entire wall if that comes off. If not, that's the first job. Then we have to put the hooks from there, once this wall's dried, and fix them onto the wall so the bed heads fix. Uh, we then have to move the wardrobe out, fill those holes and paint that wall. That definitely needs painting because there's marks everywhere. We also need to put back on that piece of wood that we took up to B&Q. Um, they actually mixed the paint from Faro and Ball's um, paint codes yeah, rather than sampling it, the yeah. wood, so we didn't really need it, which is really good because they can use other manufacturers' codes. Anyway, and then the next thing, I don't think we need to do this wall. There is a mark behind here, but I'm not painting the wall, no, it's just no, for a different sure. mark. And that's it. Oh, and that wall. That, that wall definitely doing. needs doing. Because there's rust marks from where the radiators leaked once, where clothes have marked the wall behind it, and the scratch marks when we moved the TV. There's marks up there from stuff that was on the wardrobe, so that's got to be done as well. Right, get yourself some decorating clothes on. Right, I've took the brackets off, I'm just filling the holes. It's just really sand them down, but... So, the brackets are off there. There they are. It's just started raining. Don't care, because we're inside now. So, just got these to do, and now I'm going to get you to move this bed away from yeah. this wall, and then get me the pliers, because I need to pull those pins out there. I still remember The dilemma now is the shade is so similar. I mean, it's still wet in patches, like you can see a patch there and a patch there, but the shade is so similar. It's hard to tell if we've missed a bit or one it, one it's like one color and the old color. I guess when we paint that wall, which we're gonna have to do now because that patch hasn't dried particularly well. If we paint that bottom panel, if it highlights it too much, we might have to paint that top panel, which is gonna be a nightmare. And then that means we'd have to do that wall and then the one above as well and that should be it because the one behind me we're not doing so um, I guess we just have to pull everything forward and get painting you don't realise how dirty walls are until you actually start painting them I don't think it's, well apart from the marks I don't think yeah, it's this. dirty I think it's just paint shades that faded with the passage of time you know what I mean so this, there was two scratches here well um, Nick tried to get off with the cloth uh, which obviously made that dark um, splodge there. So he put the new paint over it just to see, and that's the difference in the paint. Now, whether it's a different colour or whether that's just seven years of grime on it, um, 
we don't know, but um, it does look a different colour to be fair, even though it's supposed to be the same. You're never going to get the right shade. If you mm. have two lots of paint mixed, it's never ever going to be the same shade on a mix. No chance. Even even two, pa two batches of the official paint are completely different colours because we've had them. Right, we're done for now. So we ended up having to paint the triangle up at the top. So all that wall's done, all that wall's done. We need to do all this wall. And then if it doesn't look too stupid between the colour changes between there and there, we'll just leave it. And if not, we have to do all this, all this, and all this. Um, so for now, all we're gonna do is leave that to dry. That'll be drying about half an hour. And then we're gonna screw the brackets on for the on for the headboard and then get the bedroom back together put the picture on the wall and then tomorrow we'll start on this wall take the tv off get the shelf off and all the other bits and bats and then i need to run some power cables in which um we picked up some uh, wire today for it to extend some extension cables right we're just putting the headboard on now so that one's in drilled in and it worked first and time, uh, amazingly. yep hanging so we're just about to do this one number two headboard done I can't believe it actually happened that easy. First time, went straight in. Usually when you put them on, you always misalign it. I mean, when the guys built the lodge, there was about six holes or six attempts in each hole to do it. Look at that, you, can actually, you can't actually see where they were. Well, it's blended that well. They need to take lessons off us, don't they? They do. Right, done and put back for today. So that wall's been done, that wall's been done. We've just got this panel here, all around here to do. Uh, which we'll do tomorrow. We've actually done the corner piece already and to be fair you can't even see the colour difference on there. You might be able to on the camera. It actually looks slightly more pink on this side than on this side. It's just different shades of grey. And then um, once that wall's done we're not going to go any past, anywhere past that point. And then that's it. And then Lee just knows, needs to get on Etsy and find his table to fit there. Right, the bedroom's done. Now it's on to making tea. And um, we're not doing it in the um, slow cooker tonight because we want it done quickly. So it's going in there. Oh, I can smell that. Um, basil. Basil, yeah. Right, so, so roasted red pepper and tomato basil soup with creme fraiche tonight. Do I need to scoop all these out? I'm afraid so. Right, shove them on 200 for 15 minutes or 205 for 15 minutes. That's it. Right, they've roasted just so they've softened and then I'm going to let the flavours come out in the pan. I've actually put a little bit of smoked paprika in as well, just to give it that smoky peppery taste. So I'm going to dump all that in. I've actually added another tin of tomatoes as well. I mean, I should have put the recipe down, but it's it's just literally veg, tomatoes, basil, a lot of liquid and boil it together. We've got it with um, creme fraiche to finish it off, just to give it that creaminess. And a flatbread. You could put mascarpone cream, mascarpone cheese in it. Creme fraiche there, lots of onions there. And uh, a Morrison's the best roasted garlic and herb flatbread. Smell this. I can smell it from here. Smell that. Oh my god, it just smells so Mediterranean, mm. doesn't it? Right, it's that lovely time when I get to blend it all. Do I need to put the bread in yet? Oh yeah, you best get that in. Right, that's blended. I'm going to put um, lashings of creme fraiche in now. In fact, I'm just going to put the whole thing into it as well. Because if not, it'll just not get eaten. I do love the um, the luxury taste of creme fraiche. It's almost like a sour cream, isn't it? Yeah. Right, and then it's almost a cheesy flavour, actually. Right, and then blend that. That bread is done to perfection. Crusty bread, you mean? I've just done it. Yeah. You can knock on it. <laughs> just use it as a doorway. Where's the cream for the top? It's mixed all in and it's ain't enough. Mm. Mm. Just eating some chips. Right, it's just in there. I think the last thing was food, wasn't it? Um, with Madonna in seasoning. Mm. Which is very nice. We were just saying, we were just saying that that bottle of seasoning has the, been opened. The tub of seasoning, yeah. We got it when we were in America and we like left my mum in LA. And it's weird things like that that I keep that keep happening. Before, like that's before. been in this, that's been in this cupboard longer than before my mum were even poorly and then everything that's happened since, and it's like, we're still going through this box. It's just weird things like that. And we seem to have had loads of it as well, don't we? And we're still going through it, like you said, like that. So um, yeah. we're gonna finish the vlog. So catch us on the next vlog when we're gonna finish painting that um, bedroom. And hopefully we'll get a call from the garage. Oh, I don't wanna, I don't, I don't wanna, <laughs> take, any, I don't wanna take any more calls. <laughs> Cause every time it rings me, it costs me money. 
So thanks for watching today, guys. Hit the like button, click the notification bell, drop us a comment below. We um, read all comments. We try to reply to as many as we can. And um, see you on the next one. Bye. Bye.